I can spot you a mile away, I can see your insecurities written all on your face So predictive with your words, I know what you're gonna say Who you Check it, know you pizza's already greasy What are you doing with your putting your fruit on pizza? Those that entertain small talk, we know that it's all talk We're living the laugh factory every time Come on, come on, come on, come on 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 Ask him where the hoes at to impress me. Ask him where the money bags to impress me. Say you got the burn stash to impress me. It's all in the head, homie. Ask him where the plug at. Like, maybe you weren't supposed to go that level of stairs. Maybe you were supposed to go another level of stairs. No. I just, I just suck. Like, what if I fell so much? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> I'm back. God damn. I'm back with another video. It's your girl, Olivia Campbell. I bet you can call me a lab. Sorry, my face is like, I don't know. I don't have like cystic acne anymore and I'm about to start my period probably today or tomorrow. I just feel it. Um, but yeah, we have a couple of things to do today and tomorrow. So this will be, I'm gonna act like it's today. But clearly you guys are gonna see it's tomorrow or something like that. Um, but we got a couple of things today. I have a hair appointment today. You guys will see what I get, I mean, by this time right now, you guys already know what style I already like to get all the time that I can't do myself, but I will learn one day to do myself. But <clears throat> it's currently 7.08 in the morning. And my hair appointment's at one um, in Chesapeake. And I, um, if you guys, I'm not gonna say where I live, but like, you know, it's kind of, it's 30 minutes away where I live. So we are gonna start early so we can get some breakfast and then head our way there. Cause it is a Wednesday as well. And everybody's at work. So traffic is a bitch. I know for shit show. And I'm gonna wash my hair as well. Uh, I already detangled it last night. So literally how I prep my hair for a protective style the day of. So yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Turn the beat up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Two friends and they both tens looking nice. Too bent. I should call it quits, but I'm not. No chances. We all dance in the light. Tell me what's the odds. We can all do uh, the right. Okay. The last time we tried that, it didn't end well. Plus, you never know the story that they friends tell. And off the brown, let a nigga feel like Denzel. Out of Washington, in the D.C. with a traffic bitch. Lil Freak bitch, get geeked off erratic shit. So what you do? Shut the club up, like so got Man, that's the other shit. Paying child support through the government. Joint custody weekends, you can't Man, touch it. Man, I love this bitch. We gon' travel and fill up the bucket list. How about 10 kids on the ranch on some southern shit? You mean suck the shit. Slaves to the pussy since you discovered it. 10 bands on Chanel purses, bad budget. Just got done checking in with Miss Renee on a uh, Smile Direct Club. Um, my results, I am on a liner 10 out of 12. Girl, my teeth look good as fuck. My me, because I look crazy. My teeth look good. So. I use this Pantene heat protectant, um, but if anybody has any other recommendations, I mean, it just doesn't make sense using a like, a kind of like, that kind of heat protectant when I'm trying to blow dry my hair. I need like something like oil based. Can't be loving on every Monday be falling astray. My nigga, watch what you say. How you blocking the way? You just talking, nothing's coming from a logical place. Man, I'm kicking knowledge today. You getting brawling today. Why you paying her son tuition? I'm his father today. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of my uh, rosemary oil for my skin. Just for my skin. It's not fully blow dried, but it's to the point where. Cause you know those like hairstylists that like have their, uh, what is it? <clears throat> their blow dryers like on deck all the time. She's one of those, I think. I feel like all hairstylists are. So I'm not gonna fully blow dry it, but I'm gonna blow dry it to a capacity that it is blow dried. Um, 
she could do what I do and stuff like that. I'm not putting extra heat on my hair just to put more heat on my hair. Girl, my hair got thick. Okay. No, it did. I'm gonna put a wig on over this as well. Cause, yeah, no. So, I also got a couple of things from White Fox. I think I'm gonna just try them on now. And we're just, we're just gonna see how they look. <laughs> it on and I was kind of getting a little skeptical because I got a couple dresses from um, Shein that were just like this and I'm sorry not to get at Shein but like some of the quality stuff is not that good but this is my fox obviously it was a little pretty penny but bang But girl, look, I don't care. No words. No words. No words. The only thing I'm gonna say, if I'm really, if we're really gonna keep a pee and we're gonna be like actually like nitpicky, um, I tried like lifting it up via hips. If you got wide hips, pull it over your head. It's not from the bottom heavy uh friendly, so you want to put it over your head and put it on and shimmy it down. I don't have that much hip. Um, so yeah, okay. But like I said, uh, this one will be the last thing. And let's actually get dressed. I'm gonna show you guys the fit once I'm done. Mind that mess. I don't wanna hear shit. But yeah. All right, we in our bathroom. Um, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna be talking about like five things that I've learned this year, you know, we, are way past like that time like we can like dang huh way past the time where we have like the time to just basically talk about like what we've learned or like the last year and stuff like that it's just kind of awkward time but it's been my mind heavy and we're gonna talk about it one thing that i've learned the first thing that i've learned is you don't have to drink every weekend you don't have to go out every weekend you don't have to be outside every weekend look and hear me out the, those people that literally feel like they need to go out that need the, <laughs> the most help like I don't know and I'm saying this to be petty to some people like bro are you okay like I don't get why you're out every day damn near like, I get taco Tuesday the weekend like Friday and Saturday but what are you going to the club for on a Sunday it's not sin Sunday wake up wednesday like we're coming up with like so many things for every freaking day just to have a a reason to be drinking and going out and partying and being off our ass and i'm talking about the people also for the people who don't know how to handle their liquor don't know how to handle actually let me turn this on so yeah, see 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 me yeah how do you think your friends feel <sighs> Seeing you like this, like fuck being embarrassed. I hope you came up with people who like care about you enough to be like, damn, like I didn't know that she like, and it'd be those folks that don't even know that they, they their friend gets like that. It just, it actually amazes me. That's my ick. I can't stand when I see the same folk, like the clubs that you go to shouldn't be able to know your name. <laughs> Like, that's actually crazy. Like, I only have like one club lounge that I go into particular that like people just know my face. They don't know my name, but they know my face. And a lot of people like they just like follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. So they probably do know my name, but they don't know like my full name. Like, bro, there's this one dude there that literally <laughs> everybody probably knows his whole entire name. Like, gang, are you good? Another one that I've learned. I know this is like a common thing, but it's okay to say no. Like, bro, I'm not, <sighs> lately, I have not been going out. And that's why, well, the first one's my egg. I don't be going out like that anymore. 
and even though it is the summertime and we should be up and stuff like that mind you the weather has been acting stupid lately so of course i'm not gonna get caught in no storm i'm not gonna have no tree fall on my car but no nah, like i just i'm making peace with me like before that like i occupy myself i don't need people to basically make me have fun <laughs> it's like bro you know you're not comfortable you know the people that you care about won't like you know they're in your ear saying like you know you're not comfortable so why do you choose to put yourself in a position like this and those are definitely like people who are very empath like very empaths empath people empathic that word whatever um, you, you know think about themselves that much until the situation is done set and sewn and they are in the situation feeling like shit and they're like damn no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with it. I gotta find my other baking powder, so we're just gonna use this one. And one thing too, it's just like, if your friends are choosing a nigga before you, cut them off, babe, because it will not only just be their problem. You keep on continuing to let them, you know, get one, like, you know, just basically stand you up. They're gonna keep on taking advantage of you and your happiness. So like, I highly suggest cutting those individuals off i've had a situation just recently of like that similar uh, situation happened to me <clears throat> don't prolong it don't be like okay they're my friend um hopefully they'll change because you can't change nobody that already should like take people who for what they are before the shit happens bro it's not gonna be good for you in the long run you're just gonna be looking like what like i've done everything I, you know, I didn't even do anything wrong, da, 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 but you're going to be ending up hurting yourself at the end of the day. You're going to be looking at God like, why me? Like, no, he told you, leave. And you did not want to listen. So now we're here, babe. Come on, get it together. Um, I don't know what that one I learned was, or I don't know what I titled it, but yeah, just drop them, friends, people, relationships, whoever they are. One thing I've learned. Pineapple will never be good on pizza. I'm sorry. Like I tried it and I was just like, bro, the like it's just it's it's a demarcation of just straight weird like just different taste buds. It doesn't even mix. It doesn't even do anything for me. Check it. Pizza's already greasy. What are you doing putting a fruit on pizza? Why are we doing that? Why, 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 why do we do that? Sorry, pineapples on pizza? C -c Could never. Could never. Number four, always have a plan for every day. Me and my schedule, like, obviously, I kind of work like every single day and I barely have like time for myself, damn near. But I highly recommend having a planner, um, a agenda, a reminder, like on your phone type thing set for every single day of like what you need to do and what you want to do and stuff like that i'm telling you you are going to let the day pass and next thing you know you're gonna look at the time and it's gonna be eight o'clock at night and you just wasted a whole day babe like let's we're here with it come on lock in we can't be just sitting in the house get up babe get up unless your plan is to like sit in bed all day then okay, go crazy. But like, I don't want the girlies of this year or the men of this year, of course, yeah. Like our kings or queens. I don't want you guys to be regretful that you guys just wasted a whole day. If you don't have a planner, get one, okay? If you got an iPad, your local Office Max, Walmart, Family Dollar, whatever. Or you can just make one yourself, you know? Go crazy. Number five, let's start valuing the people in our lives that are actually there, who are there, okay? For who they are, where they are, what their status is and stuff like that, okay? That's part of the reason why I've like been staying in the house so much because I value my roommate, I value the people that I work with, I value my family, my dad, my brother, like I'm always hanging out with them. Ashlyn, like I go out that with the her and stuff like that. I'm always on the phone with my cousin Tiana. Like it's just like value those people. Don't be FOMO. Like FOMO is definitely like 
a disease of the mind, bro. It's a disease of the damn mind. My hair looks crazy right now. I'm gonna fix it later. But value those who love you, who love your presence, who give you that joy, who give you basically that motivation to just get up every morning, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have a lot, but yeah, that's like probably for another video where I'm gonna do like 22 things I've learned because I'm 22. And yeah, uh, but yeah, this is the look. I'm gonna fix the hair. Um, yeah, I didn't do too much. This is actually pretty quick, but yeah, let's go. Content day. We're just gonna make it a content day, but I'm not gonna speak on it. You know I'm not consistent, and I'm, I'm trying to be. Let's see what we're gonna wear today. My business out in the street. I saw you Currently 130. I think I already did that. That's why I was making too many TikToks either because I've been forgetting. Now we're going to do her edges. Period. 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 Your hairstylist is pulling your scalp. Leave her. <laughs> I ain't feel shit. Save I was sleeping. Save the edges. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Got a fur on the tip, but got me burning up. Shorty said she graduated, she ain't learning enough. Play the album track one, okay, I heard enough. Girl, to drop it downstairs, better hurry up. Like, look, let me get in the car. Cause I'm speaking a little too fast. Oh, I forgot I was all the way in Chesapeake. Damn. I'm gonna put everything down in the description, right on the screen right now. Like, what? You know, whenever you get your hair done and you just feel like you can conquer anything, like, send me an audio message. Bitch, I'm such you ass. This is a really, really, really cute video. I think it would be dope if you did a video just like this, but like, um, like say how to how to style this bag and then do multiple fits or how to style these pants or how to style these shoes like bitch that video should have been longer I was waiting for the rest so post a video like that I love you Ashton anyways I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a tad. That was a lot. But I'm about to do my edges and take a picture or like a little little thing thing. Like you want me help? Like you want me you want me help? Right. Exactly. I was just like, bro. Lock in. Lock in. Attachment style quiz? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll start by asking some questions about your upbringing and then move on to your feelings and relationships. Select five items that are more important to you in a relationship. Ooh, five, okay. Space. <laughs> Trust. Trust. Ooh, respect. Because you're going to respect my space. And that's how I'm going to trust you. Oh, no, not commitment. Well, yeah, commitment, but I mean, you have no choice but to commit. What the hell? Uh, compromise no i don't feel like i need to compromise shit if i like you i like you individuality closeness understanding control confidence empathy transparency uh yes transparency commitment honesty togetherness communication intimacy compassion um i'm trying to work on my communication skills so i'm not going to click communication but that is a big one like one of the big ones for me but not my top five 
Yeah. I struggle with that to this day. Huh? Communication, bro. Be freaking for real, girl. If Darian didn't text you back and he wanted to text you back, would you be upset? Of course, but I'm not going to force nobody. You won't want to text me back, so I'm going to find somebody else to text me back. So communication is good for you. You will leave the relationship because they're not communicating. Meh. Okay, I'm talking like in, like once we're in. Yes, like, girl. If Derry didn't let you know, literally, if he went days without responding to you. He did that. <laughs> he did that. He has no choice, though. Oh. Uh. Okay, you know communication. Okay, okay, gotcha. I sometimes feel that I am avoiding intimacy. Uh, mostly false. Yeah, cause I love uh, uh, intimacy, just not a lot of it. Like I know I, my space, I like space. I have a tendency to suppress my feelings. I agree with this completely. I can sometimes be impulsive with relationships. No. Um, yes. I am? Yes. yes. I'm impulsive? Yes. What do you mean? Girl, you come up with Teddy. Goodbye. Eddie. That was the, f this was the first relationship. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, so when you mean impulsive, what do you view as impulsive in a relationship? Impulsive meaning like, like, I don't want to say, I no, that's not even impulsive. I was just going to say like, if he did what something wrong. Do you do things when you're angry in your relationship impulsively without thinking about it? No. Okay. Wait, am I being in denial? <laughs> I'm being in denial right now. I am constantly seeking approval approval from people in my life. Absolutely not. I fear failure more than most things. I don't. I disagree. Ever since joining the military, like I feel like God wouldn't have had me, you know, pass BMT or anything like that for a reason. <laughs> For a better purpose, because God has a better purpose for anybody, like everybody, you know. I feel like you put, also, like you put yourself out there. Like I'm so afraid for myself out there. I'm afraid. Like uh, you will know. Like God will let you know. Like okay, this is not for me. Let's yes. try something else. Let's try something else. You know, and then keep going and stuff like that. Whereas, like it's just, I guess for me, like I can never just stand still or just like like be s stagnant in a place. I guess people like take failure as like okay like let me just step back let me take a break like or not a break like breaks are okay but you know what i mean like okay i'm gonna just stop from here nah like i'm that's when i i get back into something else yeah not even giving up it's just like you know you feel like okay maybe i am supposed to like just be at this step instead of like like maybe you weren't supposed to go that level of stairs. Maybe you were supposed to go another level of stairs, not just stay at that I step. I'm just a YOLO type of person, but at the same time, I won't put myself in situations where there could be possible rejection. Creating your report. my camera died literally as soon as i was going to start recording in the um the nail salon but this is what they look like yeah. but yeah i got basic um french tip black to match the toes um but yeah i think this is gonna be the outro yeah if you like this video please make sure to like comment share subscribe damn i have eight minutes left on this camera yeah i'm gonna start editing but if you like this video please make sure to like comment share subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button my left or right you know the deal without further ado i'm live i'm livy peace bye that's my heart